I can get with a hot Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv, but Jeffrey, Je- the the butler, <laughs> Jeffrey, <laughs> e- even the even the butler is a is a, is a model. <laughs> Je- <laughs> Jeffrey, <laughs> shit, Jeffrey, almost better looking than Uncle Phil. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Jeffrey's almost good looking, almost better looking than Uncle Phil, and that could be a problem in the best way. Allow me to oh. explain. <laughs> yeah. nah, I don't want no Tyler Perry shit I going on I want some Tyler here. Perry <laughs> shit with this, man. Hey, everyone. Double Toasted Live is headed to Florida for two back-to-back shows. Going to be in Miami Thursday, January 20th, and then in Orlando Friday, January 21st. Get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com. Super VIP and VIP tickets available right now. And when you do go to get your tickets, we have a very special discount for you for a limited time only. Type in the code DT2022 when you go to x1entertainment.com and get 15% off your ticket price. Also, check out our new merch store at tpublic.com. We have new merch and new designs available right now with many more on the way. Check them out by clicking the link in the description below. So, people, some of y'all might already know about this what we're talking about but so the great big willie style you know you know him as will smith out there mm-hmm. oh, okay yeah yeah you know when i'm hanging around my, you know when, when we're together I mean, he's big will to me uh, big my willie. man will my man will big willie what's up man but you know big willie man uh will smith to you uh <laughs> so he thought about the premise of his classic sitcom in West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Said you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. You know, he said to himself, "I was I'm cool with the show, but so uh, let's see here. The premise: a teenage black boy who was sent to his uncle's house because he almost gets killed in a moment of black on black violence. He thought about that and said, "You know what? That ain't funny." That's kind of serious, man. That's hilarious. Yeah, what the hey, sitcom? That is not. That's not funny. Dude. That's kind of serious, especially with what's going on today, with the black issues that we got, the and, social issues, and the social there. issues we got. This is this should not this. I think he dare. I, I dare say he thought. What What was I thinking? Making that show happen right mm. there. But I shall fix this. I will remedy the situation. <laughs> He says, what I will do is I will go and fix this by creating and producing not just a remake, but a more dramatic and serious remake. Some of you might have already seen it. We're going to watch it again here. The trailer for Not the Fresh Prince, no freshness, (laughs) no princesses to be be found around here. People, Mm. just Bel Air, a very dark, dramatic, and serious place, at least in this new remake. This time we're trying to make you forget who you are and where you came from. Yeah, people, you've, you've seen this. A lot of people say have seen it all day. This is actually based on a short. Uh, if, I, if I got this right, it was a short that came out and it was kind of yes, like a parody, but they were saying, what if the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was done in a more serious and dramatic style? Cause look who yo! Is this really baby Ashley? You're a long way from home, Mom. Oh, Tim. How you been? People are responding to this in all kind of ways. You know, when you start messing with somebody's nostalgia, it can either get them very excited or very upset. I've mm. heard, I have seen different comments just now as this was playing. People are saying, I don't know what the problem is. Give it a chance. Other people like, oh man, this ain't number some old BET bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is just wrong. I've seen a few episodes of The Fresh Prince. Oz, I know you grew up on that. Yeah, I watched a lot of it. You know, I uh, remember the first episodes and stuff like that. I didn't stick with it too long because Martin came out and I was really a Martin fan. <laughs> okay. <I thought> that- <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I just left. <laughs> yeah, I left it there. 
But and Mia, I think this just I think just yesterday this made it to Turkey, right? Fuck. <laughs> 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 the whole the whole new episodes of the Fresh Prince yeah. of Bel Air. <laughs> introducing think... newcomer Will Smith. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about this oh, back in Turkey. Babe. I think somebody I think they're just watching the first episode tonight over in Istanbul right now. I'm just messing with you, you know that. No, I, but I don't know if people watch it in Turkey, but hugely, hugely popular over here. And before we get into this, as I said, uh, no fresh prints to be had here in this, but there is freshness somewhere, as in Hello Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> people, uh, are you the prince you, of hell? You might fresh? not get your fresh prince, but you can get your fresh food delivered to you to, to, to your door. Oh, or is the prince of hello fresh yes, yes. I, 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 i'm trying to work out my way to be the king of hello fresh <laughs> you're about to leave and go to istanbul for a month and a half yes one of the things i'm gonna miss about you being here is that we were actually having some nice quality time together and with we were, Hello Fresh and we meals. were bonding over Hello Fresh meals. We were making meals together, or we were inputting on how to make meals, what meals we're gonna have from Hello Fresh, and it was great doing that with you, people. Here's something else: the the the, the New Year is here. I know y'all made resolutions. Everybody does. Man, I ain't gonna be spending so much money no more. This year, I, <laughs> or <yeah>. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> and you said it just like that, man. I ain't spending no, I ain't gonna be spending so much money. I got to save. Yeah. Now come on, now. <laughs> I, I, just, I just got my freedom papers. I can't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to save some money? You want to save some time? Time is money today and, and you, eat healthier you and know eat healthier a lot of you out there talk about not only am I gonna save money but I'm gonna improve my health I'm gonna start exercising and I'm gonna start eating right well let's go ahead and start with HelloFresh right here HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients right to your door including farm fresh produce that arrives within a week that's why it's fresh people it doesn't take that long to get to your door so you can get all that convenience without having to skip on quality. HelloFresh cuts back on time spent in the kitchen. They got these meals that are, they can be made within 30 minutes or less. And they have quick and easy meals that have 20 minute recipes, take low prep. And the best thing about it is that it doesn't cost too much of a mess in the kitchen. So you're saving time there too. You know, there's no, not a whole lot of cleanup involved. And HelloFresh puts all these, uh, uh, everything in there like even the little sesame seeds goes on top of everything. it and stuff and when you cook it like it looks pretty so like if you have a date or something you might look like you cook you know what you're cooking that's the thing about it impress that date have them come over to the house and instead of going out to a restaurant with all the hassle and the tension and the stress especially what's going on today impress your date by cooking a meal for them and, and it's look, closer showing, to the bedroom showing them your sexy culinary <laughs> skills furthermore you can also get desserts. They have Dunkaroos <laughs> and hmm. cookie dough. They have cheesecake. Oh, and here's the thing about the money. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal of the same quality, I tell you. And you can save over $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. I'm going to save you even more money by sending you over to HelloFresh.com forward slash double toast at 16 if you use the code double toast at 16 you'll get up to 16 free meals and three free gifts i want to thank hello fresh for sponsoring this portion of the show and as always i want to thank all of you out there for just supporting us and keeping us doing what we're doing all right let's go ahead and get into this whole thing with the fresh prince of bell ah! No fresh prints, just Bel Air. And yeah, right. folks, you know, looking at this, this looks like a, you know, this look, this looks like a, a a very special episode of the Fresh Prince stretched out into a whole series. I'm about to say the same thing. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. It's like that that very serious, kind of dark, kind of uncomfortable episode. 
But it's cool because it only lasts for 30 minutes and then we'll get back to the high highs. Not here. <laughs> nah, apparently <laughs> every day is a dark day in Bel Air. Every day somebody's crying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody's sweaty. Somebody's crying. Somebody's all stressed out. You mm. know, because everybody's out there talking about, they're saying, damn, man, shit just got real. Some people saying, God damn, we don't want to get this real. <laughs> this might be too real. Mm. Too real. It's too real. And I'm saying for myself here, now don't get me wrong, because I'm looking at I'm looking at this. Some positive things happening here. You know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, it's good to see black people with money. It's good to see them taking black issues seriously. I like that. I'm not gonna lie, a, a small part of me wants to, wants to say, just a small part wants to say, hey, come on, man, lighten up. <laughs> you know, it's 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 <laughs> It's, this is still from a sitcom. But, you know, because I'm looking at this and this is how real things are got with this. I ain't, excuse my language, I ain't down this time. Where, you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, where that was, that was nice, family friendly fun right there. That's one of the things that made it so popular. The whole family can hang out with Will and the gang. I mean, look at that. That face says it all right there. Oh, door below Will. <laughs> Not this time around. I looked at the rating on this. So this has a rated TV mature. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? what the hell they doing? What? what? Really? <laughs> yeah, apparently it's going down. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pull a, you're going to make me pull an Elmo. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> to hell with your family and your feelings. Shit just got real. We told you this. You don't like it, get the hell out of Bel Air. <laughs> A lot of people, and in, in, in myself included here, a lot of people, they saw that parody trailer that came out a while back, which was just, you know, it was a one-shot thing. It was a fan-made trailer, and, and a lot of people saw that, and they said, damn, man, this is cool. But we didn't mean that you had to keep going, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, Oz, I will say this. Now, Miss Mia, have you ever seen any episodes of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Not all of it. I've seen them. Five, ten minutes of it. Of Five this. or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I, I've seen about five or ten episodes. <laughs> no. I, I, I know the theme song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like, huh? <laughs> but I like the way you said, I've seen about five, ten minutes. <laughs> it was enough. That was enough. You got the point. Yeah. Well, the reason why I say that is because, you know, I'm looking at this right here, and while I said, okay, maybe we didn't need to actually make a whole series. I mean, you know, no one was really, really pushing for that, and I don't think everybody was. But I will say, considering what they did on the old series, uh, looking at this right here, I definitely could, I can see. I can see some possibilities for this. If they get in this dramatic in this show right here, if they're getting this crazy in this show right here, think how crazy it's going to be if they do some of the darker stuff from the original show. Because mm. the original show had those very special episodes of, and they, you know, that's 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 when, they, you know, all the yuck yucks, they stopped. And everybody got serious for a moment. And, hey, we'll get back to laughing later on. But, no, nah, you know, we... We, you know, let's 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 stop and talk about the state of things right now. We need some stories. We need some stories. Yes, <laughs> every every sitcom got to have at least one special episode. Mm. Fresh Prince of Bel Air had several. Uh, for example, uh, we had the episode where Will, played of course by the great Will Smith, mm -hmm. where Will got shot and Carlton started carrying a gun because he felt unsafe. Give me a hug. It's a gun. You walking around carrying a gun? What do you think you're gonna do with that? It's for protection. <laughs> oh no, Carlton's Rah. throwing shit. Oh, it's serious. Rah. It's serious Rah. now. Oh, Carlton's angry. Oh, when Carlton starts throwing shit and breaking plates, that's when it's going down. So you know we got. <laughs> this is how serious episodes this, happen. This on is how sitcom. this is serious. Exactly. So when Will gets shot, now it's, that's pretty dark for that. But you know we got to go harder. We got to go darker if we're doing this serious approach with this new series right here. So what's going to happen when Will gets shot? That shit's going to end up being like the end of uh, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Willie! 
<laughs> Done. Yeah, that's the only route that we can go. We're going to get darker. You yeah, know? man. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have to lose a limb or something. Yeah, man. Somebody got to die. <laughs> hey, look, if we going to... If we're going to go to this uh, uh, rated TV mature, then God damn it, then we got to push harder. You know, I'm looking at that 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 episode. But it looks like they have some party scenes and all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to get real. You know, I'm, look, I'm thinking about that episode, that one episode where Will and Carlton got pulled over by the cops. And we were discussing police harassment, even police brutality with this, which is, as we know, a thing among the black community right here. So what's going to happen? You know, when they want to get darker and harder with it. Well, first, let's look at the, <clears throat> take a look at the episode from the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Listen to me, Carlton. When he comes up, keep your hands on the wheel. Vehicle registration, please. Just a sec. But the thing is, officer, this isn't my car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, we know where that's going. We can see where that's going right there. But don't worry, it's the Fresh Prince. Prince of Bel Air, they'll make it. But if we're going to go harder with this <laughs> new series right here, a simple joke and a dismissal is not going to do it. They're going to have to beat their asses. It's going to turn to Rodney King beating right here. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. back to 91. That was 99, 91. <laughs> yeah, people. You know, somebody got to get their ass beat. We just can't let it off with a punch with a, with a punchline, a joke. You know, I'm thinking about, oh, and of course, everybody's talking. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on, on the shitty dad episode with Ben Vereen. You know the with the the whole thing with the uh, with the why don't he love me scene in there. First of all, let's look at a little bit of Ben Vereen and see just the bad father that he was. You win. You the man. You a better man than me. Fine. Uh, I'll call him from the road. Yeah, then why don't you do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, people, but that's not the one that sold that scene. Everybody knows. It's when them, those eyes, Big Willie's eyes start watering up, <laughs> and he wondered. And y'all remember that episode? He killed it with that one line. Uncle Phil, why don't he want me? It's not funny. How dare you? You're so cruel. You're so, you're so cruel. How come he don't want me, man? Oh, people. It's going to be hard to top that. If we do that, I don't think that's going to, I don't even think you can end that in a, a heart, a heartwarming embrace. I don't think that's going to cut it. I think if we want to do it, the dad got to be a lot shittier. The scene got to be a lot harsher. Now, I don't give you everything I got to give you. I give you your life. Me and your mama worked that out. Between us and liking your black ass wasn't part of the bargain. You know, we got to get Denzel on this shit right now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, before the dad even leaves, like, I don't give a fuck about you, Will. Like, your black ass was not part of the bargain right here. <laughs> the hell you, th yeah. <laughs> you think you are? Yeah, bitch, I left you and glad I did. I don't even know what I'm doing back here. Punk ass. Depression right away. Yeah. So. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. You, Will. <laughs> you know, we... Yeah, people, it's going to be hard to do that. You know, I, I'm just thinking, we're, you know, these, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do if we really take those very special episodes of the real series episodes and seeing if they do take them, how they're going to push them. But I'm going to pass this on to you, Oz. What do you think, man? Yeah, no, well, <laughs> first off, you know, I did like the Fresh Prince when it came on. It was a good, uh, uh, good distraction. It was good to see Will Smith happy, fun colors, you know, uh, fish out of water every episode. And now we got this remake here where it seems as though they may be, you know, doubling down on those, you know, special episodes, you know, yeah. and every, you know, and every scene is going to be, you know, that uh, very dark and very serious, you know, and, you know, this uh, trailer that they showed, they went out their way to let you know that this isn't the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is not. So every scene that you saw was very much different <coughs> from what you would uh, see on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. At the same time, it is it. Every character from Uncle Phil to Will Smith to the sisters <clears throat> and Carlton, they seem to be an extreme version of the show from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. You know, um, I can see, uh, you know, that the, the actors who, who play them from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to Bel-Air now, very much that same character, but just more extreme, 
more serious, a little more over the top. The Uncle Phil character, you know what I mean? To a point where he's bald head and got the beard underneath, just like uh, Uncle Phil did in uh, the Will Smith show. You know, and he seems to be very much like that same Uncle Phil character, but just more, more stern, more, you know, I'm your father. And this is how it's going to be. And this is what it's going to do. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to make a joke. I'm out of here. You know, and I don't know how much I want to see of that. Uh, it being TVMA, uh, you know, and but I don't know if it bothers me. You know, you want to have, you know, these serious dramas, you know, it's good to see black people doing their thing. I, I like that. Yeah. You know, but I don't know how much I want to see of. Again, I don't know what the show is going to be about, but, you know, the fact that they are in, you know, a predominantly white area, you know, we're going to have all this racial stuff going on, which yeah. is fine. That's the world that we live in. That's what's going on. Do I personally want to go into this dark, you know, more mature, you know, place? Uh, me personally, no. You know, I think I'm I think I'm good on that. I will give it a chance. I'll watch yeah. one or two of them just to, to give it a chance. Uh, but to know where it came from and, you know, see this, it's like, all right, ah. Uh, all right, man, I don't, like, again, I don't need everybody to be laughing and dancing and do all that stuff, but, you know, the seriousness of this is just so serious for me. One of the things that really stood out to me, and, yeah, please, look, and I put this clip up for a reason. Get Denzel to be the dad. <laughs> you know, right, I, know right. I know y'all, I know y'all not, you don't get, because y'all ain't got Denzel money, but if they could get Denzel to be the dead be dead, Perfect cast, and I would love that. I'll put that up there for a reason. If y'all get successful and you get you start getting Denzel money, then pay for Denzel, goddammit. <laughs> mm -hmm. But one of the things that I noticed here, I noticed that I noticed how just how good looking everybody was. Oh, almost, almost too good looking, man. Yeah, Uncle Phil is much muscular for sure. Oh, Uncle Phil, mm -hmm. uh, muscular, yeah. Yeah, Uncle he's Phil. not chubby like the old one. I, and you know what? I, I can, I can get with the uh, with Uncle Phil and Aunt, Aunt Viv, man. Aunt Viv, who's mm -hmm. hot. I mean, and thing is, Aunt Viv, like the first Aunt Viv uh, that they had on there, the one they got rid of, she was hot as hell too, in my opinion. But, but, right. but this this Aunt Viv and uh, this Uncle Phil, very good looking, man. But oh, he, yeah. he, so here's here's where things get kind of interesting for me. Um, mm -hmm. I can get with a hot Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv, but Jeffrey, Je the the butler, <laughs> <Hot> Jeffrey, <laughs> e even the even the butler is a is a, is a model. Mm -hmm. Je <laughs> Jeffrey, <laughs> shit, Jeffrey, almost better looking than Uncle Phil. <laughs> yeah, why not? With, you know, Jeffrey's almost good looking, almost better looking than Uncle Phil, and that could be a problem in the best way. Allow me to oh. explain. <laughs> yeah. nah, I don't want no Tyler Perry shit I going on. I want some Tyler here. Perry shit with this man, <laughs> my friend. He, I didn't even think of this. I didn't even think of this, but now that he brought it into my to my attention and put it in my head, I want it. So I want this whole thing where this could be trouble, y'all having. Having a hot Jeffrey, the butler is hot. The butler is is, is fashionable. House manager Corey, house oh, manager. Oh, house manager. Excuse She's me, not sorry. Butler like a Batman's butler. That's just like that's like calling. That's like saying I'm in custodial services. You a goddamn janitor. <laughs> you a, you a butler. You a good looking butler. Yeah, you a, 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 a amazing looking butler. Corey's jealous of the butler now. <laughs> no, I'm not jealous. I actually want. I'm gonna tell you what I want because this one, y'all can see where this is going. So my friend put this in my head. I can't get it out now. I, this is how it is. I want it. But so <laughs> so Jeffrey here, man, he predicts that. So Uncle Phil, he might be on a on a business trip, leaving Viv and Jeffrey alone for maybe a little too long. But <sighs> so but then you know, Aunt Viv starts telling so I was telling Jeff, you know what? Relax, Jeff. You've been you, you've been working a lot today. Just let's let's sit down and talk. You know, my husband's gone. Let's. I'm I'm kind of lonely. I want to talk to somebody. You can massage my foot. Yeah, Aunt Viv starts telling. She starts venting to Jeffrey about how Phil is gone a little bit too much on his business trip. A little bit of wine gets involved between Jeffrey and Aunt Viv. 
You know, uh, uh, Jeff starts giving her the attention she's been craving. You know, maybe a little back rub is going on by the pool. And well, do I need to do I need to explain what anything else? And my friend said we're gonna get that episode where it was just where where she has to explain to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, it was just once. <laughs> and and then will and then uh. uh this person's Will's uh, mother comes in. It's Medea. How are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, you ain't nothing about the butler. I don't want to hear nothing about no uh, house house management. You ain't nothing about the butler. That's all you is. <laughs> <laughs> I love people. That's that's what I want. You know, I'm just saying. I, why you want that cheesy shit? <laughs> you know why? Why? Because, I'll tell you why. Because, we supposed to be going hard. That's why. <laughs> and TV MA. Yes, if we go on TV MA, shit, I want that Bibbs titties to pop out. If we going hard, <laughs> let's go hard. That's all yes, I'm saying. M- TV MA for mature ass. So for That's mature ass, I'm a, I'm a mature ass man. People say, no, you're not. That's why you have this stupid ass discussion. <laughs> but I want what I, I want. You, we, as you say that now, I guess that's what I'm afraid of, right? They're gonna try to push this thing to a yeah. to a point where it becomes silly, it becomes soap opery, it becomes you know uh, something that you know is become stereotypical at that point of these telenovelas and all this nonsense like that. Mm. So again, man, we don't know what's, what it happens, but what you put forward and just the good looking cast, you know, yeah. you don't <laughs> it could go every which way at this point. It, it, and you throw, yes. like you said, you throw the TV MA in there. He may be banging what's the name, uh, Ashley or whatever. <laughs> oh <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> you know, I'm, no. I'm telling you, <laughs> shit. Let's let's do this, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's. <laughs> hey, this ain't no time to be soft. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We we already put it out there. We've not, not enough of this ha ha funny shit. You know we serious now. Ain't nobody <clears throat> playing. But I will say yeah. about the series, I'm not going in with any kind of predictions. I'm not going no. in with any kind of a uh, baggage. I'm not going in with any kind of nostalgia. My whole attitude is, first of all, I don't know what this is. Right. Give it a chance. The other thing is that, you know, if you're going to do a remake, and let's just face it, you know, people are remake crazy today. But it feels like Will Smith, he saw something in that, that fan-made trailer and decided, that, you know what, this could actually work. Let's just not do like a straight remake. Let's just not recast a bunch of people and then start doing, you know, the, the same sitcom. Uh, I think it's a cool idea to try to take a different approach and tone. And I'm willing to give them a chance on that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, again, it's admirable that they didn't try to do the same thing. Uh, the casting here, I think I like it. I mean, it's, you know, when I say don't cast the, the, you know, the people to be the same people in the original, well, I can't help but, and I, people tell me what this kid's name is because I can't help but think that he got hired, not only because he kind of looks like Will Smith in a slight way, but he really looks like him when he's crying. <laughs> Cause he still, <laughs> if you look at it, he, he still, cause Will when he cries, he starts looking around, looking down and everything, and this kid is kind of doing the 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 same thing that Will does when he's crying. Pixie does the same mm. thing too. Yeah, like, 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 like <laughs> <laughs> that looks straight out there. Why don't he love me? You know, scene right there. So yeah, man. Um, and what's this? Uh, oh, Jabari Banks. Jabari Banks is the kid's name that's being cast as Will Smith. I can't help but think that Will Smith saw a little bit of himself in that, and that's why he cast him, even though they're trying to do something a little bit different. But, of course, they have to keep the essence of the show in there. You know, you can can't, you can change the tone while keeping the same foundation and, and basics of it and essence of the show. Uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's, it's not anything I need to go in and have any kind of hate for before it starts. I'm not nah. that nostalgic about anything. I didn't say you did. Uh, not, not at all. Not at yeah, all. no, no. No, definitely, definitely. No, no I, I agree with anybody... you too. I just don't want to, you know, I don't want a whole bunch of struggle episodes too because now we're yeah. all, now we're serious. You know, I don't want to get into all yeah, of that. You don't know, want that. I mean, so, it was, go ahead. No, that, no, it was just something, you know, again, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can't be thankful for something I didn't ask for. Yeah. And you know what? Somebody <laughs> yeah, in the chat, man. somebody in the chat, they made a good point. They said, the only thing I would say is, and I'm joking earlier, I hope they really don't repeat those episodes, find new stories to tell here. Oh, Let's not try to do those because you're not going to be able to top. Look, you're not going to be able to top Will Smith in that, that, that father episode. It's no use in even trying and trying mm-hmm. to bring, you know, that nostalgia back to that. That's just, that's, that's only going to like make people do more comparisons. That's only going to disappoint more people. So I'm kind of joking. I, you know, if they do it, I'd be interested to see what they do, of course, but not really wanting it. 
Um, Because somebody made a good point in the chat. They said the reason why these very special episodes worked is because the series was funny. You know, it was a sitcom. It was jarring and more and had more of an impact when you actually took a serious episode because it felt out of place. It definitely felt more important because, again, you know, it's just it didn't really happen in this world too much. So, you know, I thought that, that was pretty cool. But yeah, I did hear from somebody who's close to the show. Somebody who's close to the show said that they I mean, somebody who, who was involved with the show. Somebody said that. They've seen several episodes, and again, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I know somebody. I'm not doing that at all. I wish I could tell you. I'm just telling you, I had a conversation with somebody at one of our parties. They, they, they are involved with the show closely, and, and they were saying that it's uh, so far shaping up to be pretty good. So I'm going to take the word for it for Ooh. now. Cool. So, so we'll, we'll see. Tyrese Simon <laughs> says, Tyrese. Tyrese. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Ah no! That's my impression, of Tyrese. <laughs> uh, hey, DT crew, I love your optimism for the Bel Air reboot, mm. which is what we just talked about right now. He but. says, "But, <laughs> but. I'm for the but. I know, it's always a but." Yeah, he, but he <laughs> says, "I'm hoping I'll feel the same way when it comes out." One of my biggest concerns is that Peacock, the streaming service, has been making reboots for old shows like Saved by the Bell and Punky Brewster. I'm skeptical if you. they had a well thought out plan for a Bel Air reboot, or if they just want to cash in on nostalgia. What gotcha. do you think? All right, to answer your question, first of all, Saved by the Bell and Punky Brewster, those are more like revamps, man, because they brought the, the original actors back with a new generation of kids. Uh, this is not the same thing. It's not like, you know, you got, you know, uh, Will Smith being a teacher in Bel Air and he's looking after this new kid that makes him or reminds him of himself. It's nothing like that. Also, I think that, you know, where Peacock was pushing for these, these shows because they could, uh, Will Smith is the one that's pushing this show right here. So, you know, I'm thinking that this is not as much of a nostalgic cash grab as some of the, some of these other shows that you speak of. But, you know, what do I know? Oz, what do you think? Yeah, no, you hit it on the head. You know, I, it's a case where Will Smith is, has, has his hands all over this. You know, as opposed to, hey, I have an idea. Let's put these guys together. Yeah, let's do, uh, you know, <laughs> make some nostalgia thing. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come over here and take, you know, we have a cameo or, or whatever. You know, this thing is, like I said, this thing is thought out. And they've been working on this for a while. Any opinions you have? I just didn't ask because I know you haven't seen the show, really. I haven't, but I think this show is going to be fine. I mean, I don't know what people think with the nostalgia and everything, but it looks like they care about it, you know, like they put money into this. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Definitely looking forward to it if they do. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content, such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 